Hola, bienvenidos a... Blepe. Hola, bienvenidos a mi canal. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Kalissa. When Wild has a new collection, which is super cool. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. I did more of like a feathered eyebrow because I feel like it screams summer to me. I don't know why, it just looks like really cool and like natural. New Wet n Wild collection like gives me those vibes. So basically... What is the Wet n Wild collection called? I forgot. Well, this new collection is called Flights of Fancy. It has three eyeshadow palettes, three baked blushes, four lip glosses, two or three different lip scrubs, a priming spray, and four liquid liners, and then a brush. So what I always do is I always start off with priming my eyelids. I'm going to be taking the Milani eyeshadow primer and I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. I found this at Walmart. It's like less than $5, so that's really cool. Now I'm going to zoom you guys in closer just so that you can see what's happening on my eyelids. So this is how the eyeshadow palette looks. So this eyeshadow palette is called Hasta La Costa Baby. I actually really like it because it like has embossed. It says like transition, transition, eyelid, brow bone, crease. And I think that really helps especially for beginners if they do want to get like fun colors like this and like they don't know how to use makeup. So like brow bone, everybody understands. Crease, they understand. Eyelid, they understand. Transition, a lot of people actually don't really understand what that means. And if you are one of those people, hello, welcome to the club. Transition actually just means that you are going to put it like in your crease and it's literally going to transition the color so that it's going to be a color that's going to basically blend out all of your other colors. So that's what transition means. It's going to transition one color to another color. And usually transition shades are matte. And this one does look matte by the pan. And they're usually almost like your skin tone. They're just like one or two shades deeper than your skin tone. So they're supposed to help to transition, buff out, and like make sure that the colors don't look like they're stacked on top of each other, but that they look very diffused and blended out. So for the crease, I'm going to be taking the new one that I just bought, the Morphe M433 brush. I bought this one at Ulta, and it kind of looks like a MAC 217 brush. So yeah, I'm going to use that. For my transition shade. It's pretty pigmented. So I'm really liking this transition shade. I like it because it's not so dark. I'm going to take the brow bone highlighting shade. F's with that highlighter. Okay, I'm just taking the same brush and just making sure that it's nice and transitioned. I'm really loving that brow bone highlighter. I'm also putting that in the inner corner of my eyes. I might have to reapply this on the inner corner of my eyes. Okay, so cool. Now I'm going to go in with the bluish aqua eyeshadow all over my lid. My dad just got home, so if there's noise, sorry about that. Normally what I would do is I would just take like a really deep brown and smoke out my outer. But since this comes with a purple, I'm just going to put the purple on my outer. I was going to take a brown, put it in my crease, and then do just the purple on the lower, which is something that I would do. But I want to see it, you know, how this looks and if somebody can only afford this palette. I just want to see if this, how the purple works and how all of them work together. Is that to pack on. This says crease, but I would never take a shimmery eyeshadow in the crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pat it all along here and then just see where the wind takes me. So this is actually the only drugstore moisturizer that I have, which is very surprising.
So for primer, Wet n Wild came out with a priming spray. So that's what I have here to try out. Cool. And this setting spray, and this priming spray was $4.99. So the mist is really fine which is good but I feel like the mister is not spraying like evenly like I can feel like darts but it's soft it's like not like hurting my skin because you can definitely hear it in the microphone but now we're gonna go in with foundation foundation I'm gonna mix two foundations that I have so they're both by wet n wild it's their cushion foundation and their photo focus foundation the Catrice Concealer, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in the shade 010 Porcelain. All right, cool. So now I'm going to use some setting powder under my eyes to set my concealer using the airspun powder. So now to bronze and contour my face, I'm going to be taking the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Julio. Now we're going to move on to highlighting and I'm going to take the highlighter powder by Wet n Wild in the shade Precious Petals. I'm going to be using the new blush by Wet n Wild and their, you know, fantasy collection. This one is in the shade Hummingbird Hype. This is how it looks. It's super pretty. It's just supposed to be very bronzy. And it kind of does look like a highlighter a little bit. So it has a glow to it and it's peachy. And the blush, I believe, was like $3.99. I mean it kind of looks like the same a little bit like the other side right it like barely adding any a little bit of color I can see it right here but I would say that that's my least favorite product out of the collection 
might as well put on no blush all right now i'm just gonna put on some mascara and i'll be right back so that we can do these lips all right so let me quickly finish this video because they decided to press movie theater volume on the tv and my room is actually right next to the living room so you won't be able to hear shit that i say so to set my makeup i'm going to be using the ColourPop amber crystal setting spray so i completely forgot to use the brush so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take um the milani blush in rose de oro and i'm going to apply some to my cheeks just to give me some rosiness and some more kind of bronziness and color to my cheeks Ooh, it feels really soft and I love like the purple. I like that. I like how it feels. And this brush was also $4.99. There we go. So right now I'm just lining my lips with the NYX lip liner in Peekaboo Neutral. Alright, so for lip gloss, I'm going to be using this lip gloss. This one is from the new Wet n Wild collection. And this is in the shade Featherless. And it's like a corally, pinky kind of color. See the bird? Right here? Okay, so it has a doe applicator, but it's flat. I'm really digging this lip gloss. It looks so glowy on camera. And in person too. Alright guys, so this is it. I am completely done with my makeup. I really do love how the look came out. The blush was a flop. This is not Calissa approved. I didn't like this blush. It was not good. And I was really surprised because I thought I would actually really love it. And I just think that it was like way too light. The other product that I didn't really care for so much was the prep and prim the priming spray. My spray, I think it came defective because it was spraying like like darts, so it just didn't wow me. So for the brush, I absolutely loved this brush. I love the color because I love cor colorful things, and I think that it was perfect. Like I envisioned it just for blush. I think it's perfect, and I do love the little indent that it has so that you can rest your thumb. I recommend getting this brush because I really love it. So if you're in the market for a good blush brush, look no further. The P72 brush blush by wet n wild is really good and also remember that these this one's limited edition so if you want them or if anything interests you go to the store and try to get it now now for the lip gloss i actually really really loved this lip gloss remember this one was in the um shade featherless and the lip gloss i believe was 3.99 and i actually really loved it obviously you saw that i put it on and i really love the shade it's a perfect corally color and i think it's a lip gloss that will go good for funky colors like this that you don't really know what lip color to put on with or for like neutral everyday colors i'm a gloss girl so i'm always gonna love gloss and i absolutely love how this one looks and i like the applicator and i think it's well worth the four dollars that i spent on it now for what surprised me a lot is actually this palette i think this palette was actually really really good it was only 2.99 which i think is like a steal i already have shades like this but i actually really loved this palette it's super cute it's very convenient if you're um into like fun colors like purple and and blue i think that this is really well worth it it's only 2.99 and it's super cute and i actually really do love the transition shade and the brow bone shade i think that they're really really good i always am saying basically and definitely i hope you guys enjoyed this video that is all that i have to share with you today if you liked this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up also if my teeth look extra white today <laughs> i got a cleaning yesterday and literally i was like boy you might as well just scrape off all my gums because it hurts so bad please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and make sure that you do not forget to click the notification bell because that is going to remind you of when i post new videos so if you want to be in the know you gotta click the bell hello thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope that you guys have a blessed day bye
somebody's calling me. Come on, baby. Hello, beautiful. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? Baby, I just want to let you know that I saw your video on your review on the matte and the golden fix plus. You look great. I love that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You you literally, all the time you call me, you just put a smile on my face. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, <crrr. laughs> Listen, uh, question number two. Are you going to be purchasing the many anyway? Let's direct power. I feel like I feel like I feel like some of your products have some inconsistencies like some of them are good and then some of them are 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 not great. 